Ever seen a competitor flip the shotgun, loading in four shells with one hand movement and immediately being back on target? Yep, that's quad loading for you. This loading technique has been developed through action shotgun competitions like 3-Gun over the years. And today, we bring you the top 4 best shotguns for quad loads. Number 4. Benelli Supernova Tactical $550 Most of us do, from the famed inertia system to the gas-eating Marine Corps-approved M4 and even the weird combination pump and semi-auto M3, the company is well known for its semi-auto models. But Benelli Supernova breaks that mold, bringing a pump-action 12-gauge shotgun that truly stands out in the very crowded pump-action market. Unlike most Benelli's, the Supernova doesn't break the bank either. It's often priced competitively with Remington and Mossberg shotguns. So you know we had to get our hands on this gun and give it a try. Today, we're reviewing the tactical variant of the gun with the field stock and ghost ring sights. The Benelli Supernova is an effective, comfortable-to-shoot option for those looking for a shotgun for both home defense and hunting. And the price isn't too bad either. Benelli doesn't waste space and keeps the barrel at a trim 18.5 inches. That's the stock standard for a tactical 12-gauge, and while shorter is nicer, the NFA requires a stamp for anything less than 18 inches. The 18.5-inch length gives some leeway for the inconsistent testing methods used by the ATF. The overall length of the weapon is 39.75 inches and it weighs 7.6 pounds. The length of pull is a long 14.75 inches. Even henchman-sized guys like us find that to be a long length of pull. The Benelli Supernova comes with a four-round mag tube. Oddly enough, the magazine tube comes plugged to only allow two rounds to be loaded. That's common in sporting guns and the purpose is to keep the weapon legal when hunting certain species of birds. Removing the plug is easy enough. 4 plus 1 is the absolute minimum for a tactical shotgun. We, like most, would prefer a little extra capacity in our defensive or tactical shotgun. Luckily, adding a mag extension is easy, and we did just that to get three extra rounds in the gun. Beads make great sights, but ghost rings are better, and Benelli believes in ghost rings. It's got a set of solid iron sights with a rear ghost ring and a big front sight. They are very well-made sights and very adjustable. If you prefer optics, you're in good company. The top of the receiver is drilled and tapped for an optics rail or mount. Ergonomically, the Supernova provides a sound ergonomic experience. The trigger guard is massive and your finger will find its way in. Its safety is reversible for lefties and is a push-button style that's rather large and easy to engage. The pump release is forward slightly of the trigger and it's intuitive. It's big enough and we doubt it's an issue for lefties. Using the mag cutoff isn't hard but takes a second to get used to. Loading rounds directly into the port of the weapon doesn't pose a challenge either. That ejection port is massive and made for a 3.5-inch long shell, so shoving a 2.75-inch shell in the thing doesn't create an issue. Port reloads are how you get a gun in action when it runs completely dry. Being able to get a quick reload in the pipe can be critical. Keeping the gun fed is also easy. It's got a big mouth in the form of a massive loading port. It's made for 3.5-inch rounds, and all that extra size gives you plenty of room to shove in standard 2.75-inch shells. It's easily the fastest reload we've ever achieved with a pump gun. Number 3. Remington Versa Max $950 The Versa Max is an amazing shotgun platform, and our very own team members will swear by it as their go-to shotgun for three-gun competitions. However, there are some quality control issues that have previously plagued this scattergun. It is so rare in the firearms industry that true innovation happens. The Remington Versamax is one of those moments. You see, semi-auto shotguns used to kick ass hard. Manufacturers worked to invent a system that was reliable but softened the recoil of the system. Unfortunately, shotguns aren't as easy to make into a gas-operated semi-auto system as a rifle is. A rifle has fairly consistent pressures and velocities from different brands and types of ammo. A shotgun, on the other hand, needs to be able to fire super light target loads and sometimes super potent 3.5-inch magnum shotgun shells. Most manufacturers, Benelli excluded, use a gas system that uses a small port in the barrel to redirect the gas pressure down and into the handguard area. The port in the barrel is usually as far forward as possible without being past the handguard, where some combination of pistons, springs, and operating arms would then push the operating mechanism rearward. This has worked well for many years. 
The small downside is that there sometimes isn't enough gas pressure for super light loads and too much pressure for super heavy loads. Also, these systems were prone to getting dirty and not working as well when they did. Enter Remington's Versa Max, a truly revolutionary operating system that fixed all these issues. Instead of ports a ways down the barrel, the Versa Max has seven ports right in the chamber area that lead to two short and self-contained pistons. When a short and super light shell is in the chamber, all seven ports are unobstructed and can help operate the pistons. However, when a longer and stronger shell is in the chamber, many of the ports are blocked by the shell's body and therefore fewer ports are used to operate the system. Genius! The Versamax port system is super reliable and is known for running any type of shotgun shell, two and three quarters to three and a half, that you can throw at it. Another thing Remington did right? The controls on the shotgun. They changed from their standard bolt release system on the lifter of the shotgun and changed it to a button on the side like everyone else. For the Versamax tactical, Remington put a huge button that is super easy to press under stress or with gloves on. This is an upgrade that many competitive shooters would do on their own. It is awesome to have this from the factory. We're also big fans of the larger trigger guard and the trigger. For a tactical shotgun, the Versamax tactical trigger is our favorite. The bolt handle is also oversized and easy to use. However, this can start the explanation of the problems that early Versamax shotguns had. Early Versamax tactical bolt knobs, the oversized ones, would either break or fly off. Neither are a good thing. They were so long that the leverage was too much, so they'd snap or they'd go missing during shooting, and it was difficult to safely unload the gun. The early Versamax shotgun barrels were crooked. This is fixed now. Although three gun competitors raced to get themselves a Versamax tactical shotgun, they all knew that the shotgun worked fine until they tried to shoot slugs and would watch them fly feet to the left. Remington was aware of the problem and they worked to fix it. Number 2. Benelli M2 $1500 If you had to sum up the Benelli M2 semi-auto in one word, it would be practical. It has been designed like every semi-auto should be, where function dictates design. After all, most semi-autos are workhorses. They are not designed to look pretty. They are designed to perform even in the toughest conditions. That is not to say the Benelli is a boring gun. You might consider a pair of practical shoes rather dull, but not the M2. It has personality aplenty, and more importantly, it is fun to shoot. Let's first explore the reliability of the M2 that has won it a place in the hearts of shooters. Used by many a gamekeeper, the M2 has proved itself in the field over the years. The latest version comes in a real tree Max 5 camo, which would make it ideal for fouling. Some might say that the color is a bit too yellow for the UK, but to be honest, as long as the camo breaks up the outline of the gun and stops any shine from the barrel, that's all that matters to us. However, the camo also makes it ideal for summer pigeon shooting because it would blend in so well with a field of stubbles. Another important function of the camo, which extends to the metal parts, is that it provides a rust-proof coating, vital for when you are on the marsh. It is also useful inland when shooting pigeons because nothing rusts the metal parts of a gun than a spot or two of blood from your quarry. There is a choice of camo finished, the other being Realtree APG, so you can pick which camo you think fits better with your surroundings. The synthetic stock also comes in a dull black for those who eschew guns that look like a cabbage patch. The M2 uses Benelli's famous rotating locking bolt action. When the shot is fired, all the fixed parts of the gun go rearward with the recoil. The bolt and inertia spring are in effect free-floating and initially remain where they are. This difference in motion, inertia, between the bolt and spring and the rest of the gun causes the spring to compress between the rear of the bolt and the bolt head. After the recoil begins to dissipate, this strong spring releases and the power of it rebounding unlocks the rotating bolt head and throws the bolt rearwards, which in turn ejects the spent shell and recocks the hammer. The bolt then meets another spring, which shunts the bolt forwards and on its way picks up the next cartridge that has been released from the magazine and forces it into the breech and the bolt rotates, causing the breech to lock up and become ready to fire again. This all sounds complicated, but it happens in the blink of an eye and is one of the simplest and most robust semi-auto actions around. Number 1. FNH SLP $1400 Quick to grab attention, the competition SLP is a striking 12-gauge shotgun that stands out in the crowd. But more than just good looks, 
it was a treat to shoot the FN SLP competition shotgun. Proclaimed the shotgun of the year back in 2009 by American Rifleman, the SLP has slipped quietly into the unique find category. It was working through our list of FN guns that led us to the SLP. With origins in exclusive military and law enforcement availability, the competition model evolved into an attention-grabbing addition with superior features. Right out of the case, there's no doubt you've got a competition SLP in your grasp, thanks to the sharp bright blue finish on the receiver and magazine tube. Even from a distance, it's unmistakable on course. Much like most popular 12-gauge shotguns, the configuration of the FN SLP is an over-under gas-operated autoloader. The standard 18-inch barrel is built into an overall length of 38.75 inches. In keeping with its peers, the 7.7-pound weight is on par with what we'd expect. Not as light as some of our hunting shotguns, but not overwhelming by any means. The familiarity in setup and feel to other quality guns makes getting started on the competition course super easy. Muscle memory doesn't take much adjusting thanks to the consistent placement and design. High-profile sights with a decently sized bolt release are enjoyable. Accuracy on target with a quick return for follow-up shots is a breeze. Checkered on the forearm and grip, the FN SLP feels good in the hand. Moderate recoil is minimized with the vented choke. We were pleased with the performance and fit to shoulder. With several hundred rounds through the SLP, we did not come out of the day bruised and sore. The SLP also proved to be reliable throughout the day. The 6 plus 1 capacity provided us with plenty of reloading practice, and there were no issues with failure to feed, fire, or loading. For a great competition gun, the biggest drawback to the FN SLP is the low availability. Best wishes in finding the FN SLP in stock. With the FN SLP discontinued, shooters rely on consignment or word of mouth to acquire one of these great 12-gauge shotguns, which is rather a shame. Being easy to operate, with similar features to many other over-under shotguns, the FN SLP would be a great shotgun for beginners learning to shoot in competition. All in all, the SLP is a striking and fun shotgun to get a hold of for competition shooting. That is, if you can find one. Yet another reason to schedule some time with your buddies at the range. You may luck out and one will appear for you to enjoy for the day. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.